Okay, how's it going everybody? I am back in Minecraft here. Haven't played for a little bit. I've been cracking out on the World of Warcraft. Getting all my tunes up to par. They all suck. They're nubs. But anyway. Minecraft, what are we doing? Okay, I've gotten a few comments and some PMs asking me how I power my minecart tracks or my roller coasters. If you've seen any of my minecart or roller coaster videos. So I'm basically going to show you a real quick, easy... Uh, way to build a booster for your minecart, and then I'll show you how mine works. Take a quick ride on my minecart. So I'll even build it in here. I'm just gonna tear it down as soon as I'm done, anyway. So there's only one real key thing to know to, to know here. Oops. See, look at that. I'm pressing Q to step sideways, and I'm throwing my stuff away. I didn't even have to put that block there, but uh. The only thing to really know is that where one minecart meets the other, you want the track to be taking a step down. So like so. Okay. So first thing we're going to do is make a loop. I'm not sure it even really matters how long it is. Oops. Didn't need to do that. Okay, everybody watching can handle that, a loop. You're going to want to make another line here. Hmm. Let's get rid of that one. Okay. Build yourself a little step up, like so, so that your minecart can be returned. Just like that. Oops. Very simple. Do I have minecarts? Oh boy, I don't. Quick edit. Okay, I'm back. I had to go retrieve my minecarts from my mine for this tutorial. So you put one minecart there on that track. And come up here. Minecart push. As you can see now, we have a non-stop, never-ending looping system. I mean, come on, look at that. Minecart is friggin' cruising. Zero. Zero. Okay, so how do we use this to power our minecart? I shall show you. I need to retrieve these first. Let's go into the mine. Whoa, that was close. Okay, I've left this part open for this tutorial purpose, but... uh. I've built the same sort of thing down here. And they're looping. The only uh, difference from... Well, the only difference from the track I showed you up top is I've used redstone here. Well, let's see if... How can I get you to see this? Okay. Now I have redstone coming to the corner of the track here. And that redstone comes over here to this switch and I have a piece of you know track laid here to come uh, to work as a booster for the car I'll be sitting in so basically all I have to do is flip that switch and that minecart that's in there looping is gonna come out here and give me a boost sending me through my mind so let's see how that works let's wait till it goes by okay click and you'll see now the tracks changed, and here we go. You can see I definitely, definitely needed a minecart in this mine because this place is huge, goes on forever in multiple directions. But um, I broke through the surface somewhere way down in here, and so I decided to make another base out there, and I've actually started building a water base. I'll show you that in a second. But uh, yeah, that's basically it. You can see I got boosters all along the way here. 
the simple, you know, just side-by-side -side booster. But the looping one in the beginning is really key. It's nice that you don't have to constantly carry around mine carts with you, throw them down, push them, try to jump in. It's nice being able to jump in a mine cart, flip a switch, and you're off. And so we're almost there to my underwater base now. Base, pad, crib, whatever you want to call it. And here I is. Very simple. But anyway, thanks for watching. I hope that helped. And I'll see you next time.